The one and only DJ Marfa takes you on a journey. You can hug us radio. You will never forget. Hi guys, Marfa is here and at last, Portal 2 is here. Anyways, there were some problems launching the game, but after many many tries, I managed to get into the game, so I'm just really want to play this game badly now. Sorry, a bit of weird sounds probably, I'm changing my microphone level. Uh, so, let's do this shit, yeah, let's do it. Yay! And, by the way, do remember, um... I suck at puzzle games. Still, I do enjoy them, so don't give me shit if I'm really, really bad at this. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Nine, nine. This Hello? Anyone in there? Should vacate the Hello? Hello? Ah! Oh, God, you look te um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please time. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped, but never mind. Say <laughs> apple, apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out. So, of course, the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And, of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed, you know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of? Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I love space. Uh, just, just got to get through here. OK, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? All right, see, now I hit that one. I hit that one. 
OK, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. OK, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Well, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably... Good luck! Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Good old um, Portal 1, right there. Um, okay, that was one of the most entertaining, entertaining, entertainment, entertainment. Well, fuck it, entertainment. Ah, fuck it, it was, I'm mean, just speechless. That was a good intro, that's all I'm saying. I'm just going to see a couple of things here. Um, <laughs> Sorry that uh, most um, <clears throat> most things are in Swedish. Um, uh, didn't see any way to uh, to change it back to English or change it to English because I didn't change it at all. But yeah, let's do this. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. You have just passed through an Aperture Science Material Emancipation Drill, which vaporizes most Aperture Science equipment that touches it. Sounds fun. Yeah, 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 here we go. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Yay! Haven't failed so far. Uh, way. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Yeah, well, I don't know what to say. First of all, the game looks stunning. Uh, 
if the earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king super sonic or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us okay let's see oh Okay, nothing to do then. Hey, you made it! Yeah, it did. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Oh, oh shit, that scared the living shit out of me. Hello? Whew. Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? That's important, should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive. And I'm just gonna wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back. And assuming I can locate the dead body, Yay. Or I'll Alright, brilliant. Go team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. There is a couple of loading scenes though. But who cares? It's Portal 2. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> This is very dangerous indeed. There we work. go. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Oh, shit. or whatever so let's see here center is currently being bombarded with fireballs meteorites or other objects from space please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test
There we go. Easy peasy. Well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Let's see here. Just... Oh, there we go. Oh, oh shit. There we go. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Yes. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> um, can it be? Oh, yeah. Really work. Let's try again. I have worked in this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Yeah, well, there you go. The first impression of this game um, by me, more far. Um, I will be obviously giving you the rest. In the near near coming days but uh, i thought i'll give you the first minutes of the game as a first impression this game looks acts and is fucking epic i mean the voiceovers or the voice actors has been doing a great job the guy in the speakers and as well as the other robot uh, the graphics are really good um the puzzles and the starters was easy, which uh, basically because that's a good start. Because <gasps> oh, sorry, um, it's very early here in Sweden. Uh, it was actually released at six a six a.m. right now. It's um, around seven a.m. So I'm I'm not really used to be up this this early. But anyways, guys, I'll give you the rest in the next episode. Until next time, guys, it's been a 
fucking pleasure, and I really mean it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.